Ambassador Jenny here with the questions. Go! Kevin Silva wants to know in the world of Game of Thrones, what name would you take? Lord Uger or King Jake? Easiest question in the history of Twitter store. Why would I want to be a lord if I could be king? And lord sounds kind of dubious, you know what I'm saying? King Jake! Of course! I've also decided firmly on what my uh, flag, banner, uh, words would be. Definitely, bull. Too strong. <laughs> and an elbow from the sky. <laughs> All right, next. Sylvain Pimpar, why do you believe we went to the moon even if constant radiation from the sun and other stars exists? Are you really that stupid? Yes. <laughs> next. Come on, man. You really think we didn't land on the moon? You're awesome, dog. Wrong again, Bob. We did land on the moon. Next. Thayer wants you to explain how capitalism works and explain how socialism does not. Jesus, how much time do we have? Okay, <laughs> look, to me it's actually silly labels. Now, all of our forms of government are a mix. So for example, there are some government services like the cops, uh, the military, the firemen, the post office, etc. And we have private uh, sector as well. So. You've got, uh, of course, UPS and FedEx that do a similar service, but slightly different. You've got Nike who makes sneakers. So now, if you're saying communism is where the government makes all of those things, I totally and utterly disagree, and I think that's a bad form of government. Now, I often say that I'm totally in favor of capitalism, and by that I mean a mixed economy like the one we currently have, but probably a little closer to Europe, which in some circles would be called socialist. So it's just a matter of splitting hairs as to what you call socialist and what you call uh, capitalist. But don't believe the extremes. Don't, like the guys who are free market libertarians that think the government should do nothing are insane. The guy who's, who think the government should do everything, unfortunately equally insane. The answer is somewhere in the middle. Go. Mark Wallace requests a happy dance. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go. Said Murat, what do you think about the situations in Taksim, Istanbul? All right, now we made a lot of videos about that, and you can check that out on our, uh, of course, youtube.com slash TYT. Let me just say here, look, the most important thing is, Turkey is a secular country. Now, the United States of America was the first secular country ever, where we said we are literally not a Christian nation, and our founding fathers put it in the Constitution. Now, Turkey was also as secular, if not even more secular, in its founding in the 1920s. So it is by definition and by formation a secular country. Anyone who messes with that, messes with the bull. And you're seeing the bull run through the streets of Turkey now. That's my sense of it. Next. Kareem 1907, are you a fan of any Turkish soccer team? A lot of Turkish questions today. And by the way, by the bull, I don't mean me or my bannerman. <laughs> I mean generally Turks in general. And yes, uh, Fenerbahce, that's the team that I grew up liking. This has been a Twitter storm. <laughs>